Well, I would like to introduce a new chapter, Gooseberries. This is our fifth unit. In fifth unit, uh, this unit name, Harmony of Life. Harmony means it's a, uh, Malayalam is called Thalam. Life, you know, yes. That's Harmony of Life. It is connected to life, connected to human being. The life is both happiness and sad, disappointment, frustration, angry. So many feelings we have come by instance in life. Sometimes we are in good, okay, but sometimes we are not in good. So this is a harmony of life. This harmony here is that, uh, what is it, sad and happiness. We can go to, that means our famous Anton Chekhov, very famous writer. Very brilliant Russian writer, very my favorite short story writer, Anton Chekhov. He was from Russia, was born in 1860, 1904, was a Russian physician. He was a doctor too, dramatist, oh, right, and short story writer. He was a physician, dramatist, that means play writer, a short story writer. Oh, really, it's very good. Gooseberries is a middle story of a trilogy. That means the story of a group of three related stories. Trilogy. It's a middle story of trial. It's a trilogy story. Trilogy means connected to three. Okay. The first one is the mom in a shell, and the third one is about love. About love. Okay. The fourth one is the third one is the uh, second one is gooseberry. Okay. That's about. Forget about it. You must know about Andrew Chakol. Russian physician, dramatist, and short story writer, was born in the year 1860-1904, right? So, what is that's about Anton Chekhov, very famous short story writer. Thus, we want to know gooseberries. What do you mean by gooseberry? Have you heard about the name gooseberries? Right. Have you ever eaten gooseberries? Definitely. I think there is no any other students who didn't, didn't uh, take gooseberries. That's most of them must uh, once or twice or thrice or more times. You, I think you have taken uh, these gooseberries. Okay. So what is the taste of gooseberries? Can you say about gooseberry? What is the taste of gooseberries? Yeah, there's a uh, ripe goose, gooseberries there, unripe gooseberries there. If unripe is connected to not uh, sweet, it is a sour taste, is it? All right, it is not at the same deli delicious, but at the same time, it is a sour and unripe is also very tasty, some people, all right? Okay, then. All right, this is, this is a gooseberry. That means uh, we want to know about the gooseberry. Uh, that's here, story is linking with uh, some of the... Uh, inclined words that means message and something is there if you have to take gooseberries in the first it is not too tasty but later when you drink water or something you get some kind of seed is it yeah that's a, life also sometimes like that yeah. first of all you are born after you are to studying very difficult to pass the examination and you are try again and again maybe you pass your higher studies you want more money for higher studies and your parents uh, help and rate yourselves and you are suffering in the house or suffering in uh, college or uh, university or school and you are clashed with someone he has uh, best moments and bad moments your feelings everything is inclined but after you feel get a job if you are in a married life you are in a good life house car everything as your kids uh, like that you will become happy i mean first you are getting very sadly very Disappointingly, sometimes, sometimes you are uh, frustrated or happy, or sometimes uh, but you have worked very hard. At that time, you didn't get any taste. But after you have to acquire in a particular position, you are getting uh, versus your life should be with taste and happiness. Everything is very fine. So, this just like that is uh, gooseberries. First of all, it is not uh, uh, sweet and tasty, but after that, gooseberries, you have drinks a little bit of water and if it is very tasty thing, it became very attractive. Similarly, our life also like that. Early life, we are not, didn't get any happy. Sometimes, uh, uh, so many job you, you will do 
for your hard work, for your examination and everything. After if you get a good job, this is very sweet. But his life is just like gooseberries according to Anton Chekhov. So that is a title meaning. You understood what is the title meaning here? The gooseberries. The first life is sometimes not well, but later it became very tasty and sweet. Similar like the gooseberries. When this story happening, I mean, it is uh, this atmosphere. It is atmo the Anton Chekhov described this atmosphere in Russia. So most of the names are in Russian. Uh, for example, very different names are here. Is it? Uh, Ivan Ivanich, one of the names, Ivan Ivanich. Another name is Bukin. Uh, it's another Bukin. Bukin, Ivan Ivanich. And another name is Nikolai Ivanovich. Nikolai is another name, Nikolai Ivanovich. Ivan Ivanovich and Nikolai Ivanovich. It should be Bahad, that one. Okay, these are the three important characters and other characters also. It's a little bit all here. Anyway, it was uh, one of the great story of uh, Anton Chekhov, contributed to English literature. So before that, we want to uh, take the brief of the story. You know what is the story you have connected. So summary, right? Ivan Ivanich, the first character, Ivan Ivanich, a veterinary surgeon. Veterinary, veterinary surgeon means mega doctor, right? And his friend, Bokin, high school teacher, okay? The first character, Ivan Ivanich, uh, he is a veterinary uh, surgeon. Another one, that means doctor, mega doctor, right? Another one is Bukin. Bukin is high school teacher. Uh, okay, what is that? They both are decided to find a shelter from heavy down for at home of a friend. So they, both of them is uh, ready to go his friend house their friend's house. At that time rain comes out, so they have to take shelter. Okay, the another thing is, the most important thing is here is, when this uh, the story begins, there, there is rain. And in the ending part of the story is also rain. Rain played very important role, very crucial role in this uh, short story. Because rain sometimes felt happy, but sometimes felt happy. What is your attitude about rain? While you're in home, it's a heavy rain comes out. Uh, what's about your nostalgia? What's about your feeling? Are you happy? Are you sad or angry? Or it's different. Uh, different moods. It depends upon you, right? Is it? Is it, I, I ask you that uh, whether you like rain or not. Okay, this is your opinion. Rain. It's uh, so many nostalgia contributing. Is it? Right. Fine. So here rain is played a very important role. This is uh, the right of, this is the imaginary uh, uh, thinking and right of uh, Anton Chekhov. He added rain uh, to this story. Okay. Then Ivan Ivanovich takes a swim in the river. That means his Ivan Ivanovich has come from city and now he is in the village. He wants to swim in the river because it's a beautiful river. There's so much barry fields. A different kinds of fields are there and also in the side there's a small river too. So usually he is wished to swim in the river. Okay, Ivan Ivanovich tell the other the story of this brother Nikolai Ivanovich. Okay, Ivan Ivanovich I already told veterinary vet 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 surgeon. He has or he had a brother. His name is that Nikolai Ivanovich. So Ivan Ivanovich, Nikolai Ivanovich. Ivan Ivanovich is a veterinary doctor. Nikola Ivanovich is a farmer. Okay. So this is a controversy. How man became uh, attain happiness? For example, uh, most of them like happiness, isn't it? Nobody has to like to live in a sad mood. So these two brothers, that is here, Nikola Ivanovich and Ivan Ivanovich. One is doctor, one is farmer. Nikola Ivanovich is a farmer. Uh, Ivan Ivanovich is a doctor. So both are, uh, that means their own aim, their own 
style of life. Nikola Ivanovich is like a farm and this village and this cultivation, uh, gooseberries, uh, just like he, he liked that way of life and he wanted the happiness on that way. He don't want more money, but he wanted the a life in that way. That means uh, as a farmer, as uh, a not well-dressed, uh, uh, don't want more car or bungalow or that. He want a house and he want a, uh, what's that? Fields, too much estate he want, and at the same time he want must want the gooseberries, gooseberry bush. He want gooseberry bush also. So that's it. And then he is led the life and attain uh, happiness. In our life also sometimes some some people want more money, more car, more uh, things, more house, uh, too much luxury want. Some people have money but they lay led the life very simple way. They don't show uh, too much attraction. Uh, they may be, they use, uh, uh, what is that, uh, common dress. Whereas some other people dress well. Both, uh, both of them are a different style. Here is Ivan Imanich and Nikola Ivanich had also different style of life, different view and different uh, pattern to happiness. So here the story also tell us how the person have attained happiness. Maybe your uh, idea and happiness is quite different from others. Others idea is happiness is quite different from yours. Some people, for example, I am saying, just as I said, that some people want to eat ice cream, then we get happy. Some people don't like ice cream, they want to uh, heavy food, uh, like a biryani or uh, some other things, they became happy. That's an example, that's not a lot of things. But here is a not a small food item I already told. This is a way of life. How the way of life you attain happiness from uh, our childhood to from our old age. How we led the life, then how we will get the happiness. That is a gooseberry say that. First, if you work hard, then you are getting success. First, you didn't get to work hard, you didn't get success. You are failure, just like gooseberries. Gooseberry first is uh, not a good, it's not a taste, it is sore and uh, it is different as I said. But it, it is when it grow very nice and after you drink water or something, it became very sweet and you are like him, very delicious. Similarly, if the life also like, if you work hard, you face several challenges, problems, everything, at, maybe at last you are getting your aim, you are good position, you became happy. Whereas, if you are in childhood itself, you are very lazy, you not know, work very hard, you simply sit in home, you don't want to do anything. In the last life, you are again very difficult. That means here, yeah, life is like that. If you work hard, then your success will come. Sir. Similarly, here is that life, if I manage, I already told you, is a veterinary doctor, surgeon. Uh, his lifestyle is in the city, you want a different lifestyle. Whereas his brother, Nikola Ivanich, is in a, a want to lay the life in a uh, village. He want to look like, uh, work hard in the fields and he want the estates and must uh, want gooseberry bush. So uh, always the Ivan Ivanich mocked Nikola Ivanich. He was a, a just like a countryman. He always like a village. Why you are like this? Again? That's why Ivan Ivanich always mock uh, or, uh, uh, laughing against Ivan Ivanovich. But Ivan Ivanovich is, uh, sorry, Nikola Ivanovich is very happy in the villages. He like farming. So, so during the visit of this brother's house, the cook served him a plate of gooseberry fresh from the garden. Yeah, the Ivan Ivanovich with his friends now visiting whose house? His brother Nikola Ivanovich in the village. That's the way the rain comes out and they have to now reach in the house, a friend's house is there. Firstly, they reach in the friend's house. After they are visiting the Nikola Ivanis house. After the Nikola Ivanis house, they got a, in a tea, we maybe are getting snacks, cookies or biscuits or like that. But here, Nikola Ivanis give gooseberries. Nikolai says that they are delicious, but Ivan says that it's hard and sore. Yeah. From there, you can understand the different characteristics of Ivan Ivanich and Nikolai Ivanich. 
Ivan declares that Nikola has deceived himself and wasted his life. That's it. Ivan concept of life. Ivan said that Nikola, you are still in the village. Very bored, very bad, like that. Ivan Ivan is advised with his uh, friends and this to forget about the village and to come and join the town. This, uh, which that means uh, the Ivan Ivan just came there with his friends. Uh, this is the thing is that this is a story inside the story. That means Ivan Ivan which told this story to his friends in the friend's house about the story about his brother Nikola Ivanis. You understand? No. Okay, I already say again saying this is a story inside the story. What is that? Ivan Ivanis told this story about his brother to his friends. That is a story. Exactly who told the story? Ivan Ivanich told the story. Whom? About his brother. To whom? To his friends. The story connected to Nikola Ivanich, the story told by Ivan Ivanich to his friends about his brother. Understood? Okay, this is a story inside the story, right? So that's about the, the ghost bodies. Right, do you understand this three character? I already explained the character. First one, Ivan Ivanich. Who is he? He's a veterinary surgeon, I mean doctor, live in a town. Uh, he had a brother, Nikolai Ivanich. He's living in a village. He's owned by estates and too much fields. Is living in village, whereas Nikola Ivan Ivan is living in town. So you must be ready to understand that who is Ivan Ivanich and Nikola Ivanich. I already told that this is the story. Uh, atmosphere is completely connected to Russian, this Russian atmosphere. So name also like that Ivan Ivanich and Nikola Ivanich. Now, don't confuse Ivan Ivanich. Attorney doctor, Nikola Ivanich is a farmer. What is the concept is here? Both of them, their own way of life, their own idea, their own stand of life, their own uh, ambition and other things. Nikola Ivanich's ambition is quite different from Ivan Ivanich's ambition. So who will win the, or who would win their life? That is the question may be asked in the examination. So you should be very carefully heard the story and find out your view, not the other's view, your view, who will you support, who will success in, in their life, whether Ivan Ivanich or Nikola Ivanich. This is, after I will ask you the question, who will win the life, or who would win in the lives and their ambitions. Or who will satisfy whether Nikola Ivanich or Ivan Ivanich? Both are brother, one is in the city, other one is in the village. They're on their own style of life. And also at the same time, it is connected to gooseberry. Gooseberry is also the symbol of life. Firstly, it is sour and not tasty, but it be later to became very tasty. Similar life also, if you work hard, if you are aim, if you are a rigid mind and ambition you're getting the success. But if you are lazy, disappointed, frustrated, and you don't care about the life in series, you will lose the life, is it? So here, in the story beginning, you must know the two person. Then lastly, you decided who will win the two person. All right. So I already told it. One is in the city, one is in the village. So uh, can I ask one question? What do you want to live, whether your city or in the village? In the future, what do you like to live in the city or village? Most of them like in what village or city? Okay, that depends upon you, right? So here is I already told the story is connected to gooseberries. Why it is connected to gooseberry? You understood? I already told. 
and uh, gooseberry you know what is malayalam nellika right okay fine and uh, other thing is that it is a story inside the story right who told the story ivan ivan is told the story about whom about his brother what is his name nikola ivanich then who who is the listeners of the story that means ivan ivanich's friend are the listeners of the story right okay that's fine uh, let us we are thanks to anton chekhov such a brilliant contribution in english literature so beside is also i already told the atmosphere the rainy season rain also felt somebody happy somebody sad it depends upon you the rain comes in the first and at the same time uh, uh, end in the last also the rain comes out in the end of the story and there are so many symbol here mentioned about that one okay right then here is some of the uh, things i already said it is heading the page number 132 gusbari sandron chekho take your textbook right Anton Chekhov's Gooseberry is a story of two brothers. Who are the two brothers? Nikola Ivanich and Ivan Ivanich. One is farmer, one is paternity surgeon. Who pursue happiness in their own ways? Yes. Who will get the happiness? That's the question in this chapter. Whether Nikola or Ivan Ivanich. The story provides ample opportunities to examine critically the ways they have chosen. they have choose their own life for attain happiness then who will attain happiness let us see the extent to which they attain their goals also worth considering at the same time not only happiness but also their uh, aim is it fulfilled or not that's also very important thing okay rain i already told the symbol of hope and rebirth all right Okay, happiness is different from one to another. We have to know that. Sometimes sorrow, sometimes disaster or distraction, sometimes satisfying, sometimes not satisfying. Gusbar is the same human life. First sore, after sweet. If you first suffering so many hard work, you will get a happiness. If you not hard work, you are didn't get happiness. Okay, Nikola is a character is considered as a miser. ugly uh, he had a wife he did spend more money he didn't get to more good dress he don't like a good dress he is always but uh, mingle with the uh, fields always mud and uh, his uh, body is completely walking with his dress is completely mud and everything because he is hard worker that's why he succeed okay or as other person is very stylish very good shoes dress manners and everything and he enjoy the life in the first who ivan ivans okay uh, then here is a so many symbol i told one is rain other one is too much one i will say to you right okay then goes boris and before that i want to know that you must know the character sketches that how was the person is that that the first you uh, we want to describe this too All right. Okay, we have to differentiate. Okay, here is one. Nikola preferred to live in farmhouse. Okay, he wanted to eat in the open and sleep in the sun. That means you don't want more AC room or uh, curtain or luxurious bedroom walls. He loved nature, flowers, fruits. That's the character of Nikola. Nikola preferred to live in a farmhouse. That means village, uh, farm house, agriculture house. He wanted to eat in the open and sleep in sun. He yes, openly sit and drink and eat and sleep. He loved nature. He like. He want to sight see. He want to see the nature always. He want to flowers. He want to see the flowers and the smell the flowers and the fruits. Who Nikola Ivanich. Whereas Ivan Ivanich attitude is just different, just opposite. He like he don't like countryside, he like city, and he was not very passionate. 
Then what is a Nikolai's dream? Nikolai's dream is quite different from Ivan Ivanovich's dream. That we will discuss afterwards, right? All right. Okay, then let's start one. Are you ready? Yes. That's fine. Just you want to know that. Right. Gooseberries. From early morning, the sky had been overcast with clouds. That means it's attempt the rain. Anytime rain will come because it's, I mean, sky is covered clouds. That's a symptom of rain, isn't it? So I already told and don't check up in the beginning itself. It's a symptom of rain. You know? uh, still, its atmosphere is cool and wearsome as usual on the great dull days when the clouds hung low over the fields and it looks like rain. Actually, it's not rain pouring. It is ready to rain, which never comes, but never comes also. That's also something is very different in the atmosphere. Uh, this atmosphere also something inclined, some meaning is also comes out. Sivan Ivanich, the first character, Ivan Ivanich, the veterinary doctor, surgeon or doctor, and a booking, his friend, Ivanich friend is booking, the school master, school teacher, were tired of walking and the fields seem to be endless to them. Now they actually they want to visit his brother Nikolai Ivanovich. But before that they are tired because they are walking in the village. There is no any particular transportation. So they have walked very distance. They didn't reach, they walk again and again. That's why Ivanovich is too tired. And Bokin is the school teacher is also there. They are walking. For ahead, they could just see the windmills. That is a, one of the scene in windmills, you know. Especially in Tamil Nadu or some other places, you can see can so many windmills. Windmills is used for to contribute to the power. Uh, when you, power comes from winds. Understood? So that is also use of windmills. Of wind, windmills, have you seen that? It's a long fan in the earth, you can see in the, uh, what is the empty land. Well, ahead they have to see in the windmill of the village of Morowski. Okay, that's the village name, Morowski. In the calm weather, when all natural seem to gentle and melancholic. Melancholic means sad. The nature itself is, comes to be as very gloomy and sad. But Ivan Ivanovich is very tired. And Brooklyn also was filled with love for the fields and thought how grand and beautiful the country was. Ivan Ivanovich is too tired, but his friend Brooklyn, the school teacher, also come with him. So two characters, Ivan Ivanovich and Brooklyn. Brooklyn was school teacher, friend of Ivan Ivanovich. They are visiting Ivan Ivanovich's uh, brother Nikolai. But still they are walking and they can here explain the natural itself is very cloudy and any time it will come rain. Uh, both are walking very fastly but they couldn't walk fastly because they are tired because they are uh, walking from uh, long hours so that's why we, they were tired. They can see the entire village is very beautiful, very attractive so it's a very uh, good sign for the eyes. So that's the beauty of village. Isn't it? It's better to go village and lead a good life. That's the first paragraph. I think first paragraph you understood. The beautiful explanation about the Moskvi village. Name of the village is Morowski. Yes, Morowski village. Morowski is a beautiful agricultural land. Beautiful scene and everything is there. All right, fine. And climate is also, it's very different, it's sad. And from there you can understand the picture, is there, see the paddy field is there, they are walking with the booking, the school teacher and the image, the attorney sergeant, see the uh, long, greeny fields are there. Sometimes one tree is there, see the 
a uh, small house is there some of the mill is there some of the things have there uh, maybe some of the store house is there and a small pathway is there now both are now walking to the distance uh, but at the same time it is very different atmosphere too all right then let us last time when we stop stop the poker is said that's the name of a person for coffee is said the said means here uh, there is a shelter a room said booking you are going to tell me a story yes i already told this a story inside the story it is told by ivan ivanich it's about his brother nikola ivanich to his friends so the while they is walking they talk about yes i wanted to tell you about my brother yes listen bookman said that you told me you want to say some of the story are you ready to say the story bookman the school teacher asked to ivan ivanich then ivan ivanich said that while they are walking yes i would like to say the story the story is connected to my brother the story about my brother nikola ivanich at that time bokin and ivanich is now in the shed shed means a small room near the road side because of the rain that shed is pokai pokai shed right there's a name of a person shed okay right then ivan ivanich is took a deep breath both of them were ready to say the story now they reach in the so a small house that's we can call as said that's the poke face from the ivan ivanich ivanich uh, ready to say the story about his brother nikola ivanich okay after a deep breath and he lighted the pipe let me they were to, uh, take a cigarette to smoke before beginning his story that means the preparation to say the story who told the story ivan ivanich about whom his brother nikola ivanich who are the listeners ivan ivanich friend but just then the rain began to fall so rain comes out now and in about 5 minutes it came pelting that means very strong rain pelting means just like a throwing pelting means throwing down and so there no sign of stopping heavy rain there is no sign of stopping so far it's a heavy rain and the climate is quite different we ought to take a shelter said brokley Brooklyn school teacher, friend of Ivanovich, he also come travel with Ivanovich, and Brooklyn said the suggestion: we want to take a shelter, good room. We don't want to, uh, what uh, near the sea, near the rain. Let us go to Alokin's. It's a close by. Alokin is one of the friend of them. Third character: Ivanovich, Brooklyn. Nikola Ivanovich and Alokin. Alokin is a friend of Ivan Ivanovich. Okay, so Ivan Ivanovich, Buklin, and Nikola uh, uh, Alokins—they are together now. Now they reach in the house of Alokins. It's very near to the way. Very well. So now they reach in the house of Alokin, and they decided to stay there. and from the relocking house they start the story so that's so today we will see you soon okay then then we want to say about the more about gooseberry sand ivan ivanich family and nikola ivanich difference okay anyway it's a very nice atmosphere very good still the rain is poor that's where they have to reach the near friends alokin house they assembled together today night with the booking so we want to know what is the professional booking and we want to know professional ivan ivanich and alokin we want to know more about alokins also aliakin that is aliokins that's russian lokin 
another different name Eliokines. Okay, so this character you should be find out. That's about today. Thank you very much. Take care.